Woo! The champ is here. What's up, guys? Cast one here, and I'm bringing you a Battlefield 3 early beta, whatever they call it. I don't care. I love it. Oh, guys, I cannot tell you how impressed I am um, from just beta. I, I can't even imagine how the retail version, how when they clean up some of the little flaws they have, as you expect in most betas. But, man, I, I uh, this is my first match I ever played. Uh... I just finished playing. Uh, I just said to myself, let me put out a commentary on on this because this game is awesome. Everybody has to uh, know that they, I can't wait until a um, couple of days, uh, September 29th, when everybody can try it. I think they will be very impressed by, by this beta, Battlefield 3. The where to begin, you know. Uh, first, uh, I was anticipating it all day because I knew I was um, one of the Medal of Honor uh, limited edition uh, owners. And so when I got an email from from, uh, um, from DICE or EA, PlayStation, uh, telling me that uh, I'm invited to play the early beta. So when I logged on, you know, they, they had instructions. I couldn't uh play because the ps didn't update uh the store so i couldn't play right away so i was like anticipating the whole day oh come on come on come on when it's gonna uh uh finally happen and then later on some around in my time i'm in uh the east coast i think um i came on around 8 30 so but i'm glad i did you know because this game once again i gotta say is awesome the the graphics looks pretty <laughs> incredible the sound is is incredible you know I, they dice always does a great job with the sound so uh i'm not surprised by that but i am impressed by that this is a beta and it runs very smoothly you know it's still um what i've noticed has a little of the hit detection problem that you know sometimes it it seems like you you you're on target on the guy and he doesn't die and, and is not registering but that comes and goes in this game so far but I'm sure they'll fix that but uh, okay um, let's just talk about the beta um, first I would say if you um, play Battlefield Bad Company 2, you'll, you'll notice this game that it's much faster than uh, Bad Company. You know, the, your character, it moves, it, it's more fluid, you, um, you're able to back up, move forward, I don't know, it, it's just, it's not, there's not the clunky feeling that uh, I guess a lot of people, when they first try um, bad company always complain like oh it's a little uh, clunky or, or or character feels like it's in quicksand you know something this game doesn't have any of that you know it's uh, very smooth uh, you're almost kind of gliding it, 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 dare I say it is sort of close to Call of Duty the control feels somewhat you know similar to that you know but it's uh, much m improved over Battlefield Bad Company 2, but it is awesome. Uh, the recall on the guns, uh, uh, some of some guns have quite a lot of recall, and some really um, don't, but it's it just like you really have to manage it. Also, a nice feature they gave, uh, I didn't find out until later, if you tap the um, down arrow uh, uh, on your D-pad, you can change the um, fire selection mode, like from uh, I guess from fully automatic to um, one shot. So, so that that's pretty uh, effective, you know. I'm glad they put that feature. That's I want to play around with that some more. I really didn't get a chance, but yeah, like, as you can see, you can go prone here in the game, and I was a little worried about. Um, adding prone to, um, well, adding it back 
you know, uh, well, I don't think they ever took it out in Battlefield, you know, in Battlefield 2, but they didn't have it in the Bad Company series, and uh, I was a little uh, worried that, I don't know, uh, will it be a uh, good good thing would it be someone like Homefront because, you know, uh, a lot of people were on, uh, laying prone for most of the match. And I would say you do see a lot of people here um, prone, but it's not as bad as um, when I played Homefront. You know, it, it seems the map uh, uh, sort of forced you to move um, more than uh, previous uh, maps uh, uh, that that was in Homefront. I don't know why I'm talking about Homefront. Okay. But we're in this battlefield, you know. Uh, but this where prone is, isn't is that big of an issue. I Well, to me, I didn't quite find it that big of an issue. Especially in, in I, I believe this is the second part after you uh, destroy the uh, two bombs. So this is the second level. Here is less of a problem, but the stage prior... Was a little bit of a problem, but we managed here. Here, I don't know. All all these guys went close to it, so I said, I don't know what that was. So, you know, I said, hey, it looks like an ATM, maybe free money. Hey, oh, yeah, right there. You see that move to able to jump and turn? It that's is much easier to to do that in Battlefield Bad Company. I probably wouldn't be able to um, make that maneuver. So just the the quick responsiveness of the controllers. You know, that's one thing. I love about this game so far they added that that's great it's gonna really uh, bring a lot of players to this game and um, bring a new element you know where where if you really uh, good with the sticks like you can uh, uh, aim uh, very quickly or find your target you know you're gonna find have success playing this uh, and yeah Oh yeah, and then the classes, the same things, uh, four um, people to a squad, and um, and they, they, they switch it. it, it's still basically the same. One thing I noticed, when you give out either ammo or uh, the med pack, it comes out a little bit slower, you know, uh, there's some, it, right here when I was trying to um, throw the... Uh, ammo. I just noticed it was a little slow uh, coming. It's not as quick as Bad Company, where you can pick up ammo, throw it down real quick. This one has like uh, the animation is a little slower, so that's what I've noticed. But uh, anything, but like I said, this game is completely gorgeous. Look, just the graphics. Look at how outside. Uh, it looks. It is just beautiful right here. I sometimes I just want to stop. And just look at the scenery and say, wow, you know, they really, this Frostbite 2 really does its job, you know. I, I you had uh, my doubts about how good it would look on um, consoles, but it looks good. Here, I thought that maybe I can go through that door. It would have been nice, you know. Oh, wow. Uh, everything um, in the beta seems to work um, pretty okay. Um, right here, I was trying to see the destruction, but I don't know if they have it fully on or not many things I saw. Um, I didn't see any building actually collapse here. Uh, not all the time. None of the time that I was playing. And there, I'm just trying to test things out. Uh, I wasn't seeing if I can, uh, I don't know. Uh, use the blow torch and uh, uh, I guess burn them to death. And yeah, just to detail the movement, the the this map, the, this map is rush. I guess is in Paris. You know, we, uh, I'm normally not a rush player. I play conquest. So I prefer that a little bit more because rush you get a lot of campers. Even in this game, there were uh, quite a few. But I guess you expect that when some when they don't know the map. But just just everything you see here, a the the ability to dodge and, and maneuver is much improved. I can't stop talking about that. There, get blown by a, a grenade launcher, I believe, something like that, rocket launcher, and yeah, there's everything about the game. And also, I gotta say, 
it's uh, faster response than uh, Bad Company 2. Because Bad Company 2 takes about after you die and you watch a kill cam, then you select your um, your your squad mate who you're going to spawn on. It takes about around, what, 12 seconds, 13 seconds. Here, uh, I believe when I was counting, I think 7 seconds to come back in there. 7 or 8 seconds, you know. So they shaved off about 5, 4 seconds off the respawn, which is pretty good. I like the your character runs faster than um, Battlefield back up to. It feels that way to me, I'm not sure, but it just seems real good. And so that's why I have my impressions of the beta. I love it. I'm definitely gonna get the game. So uh, I hope this uh, helps you. Also, I was trying to, as you saw, I was chasing that guy. Um, I wanted to do the knife animation, you know, you know, get his dog tags. But I guess I'll leave um, a video when I first get in here for you guys. So, yeah, this is Battlefield. I hope you guys uh, like what you saw, and uh, I can't wait to play it. And remember, guys, there can only be one. Cast one. Thomas, out. Battlefield for the win! Yeah!